Friday was on the uh, fringes of the points, who was in that five-way battle, and we're, we're going to see the incident perhaps here, and it's going to be two riders involved. Um, that's a, a straight-forward uh, situation of uh, Tuk Taimon, who has gone down and uh, collected uh, to Raki uh, Buapa, I think that is, who was uh, alongside him, and uh, he has now remounted to uh, continue on in the race, but clearly uh, out of contention when you're in a packed race like that one, and uh, that group has uh, now uh, become a six race a group instead of the eight or so who were all involved. Yeah, they're starting to split up a little bit and uh, the reason for that is you've got to try and make those attacks and uh, you can see there for uh, both of those riders on the run down into 10 for Buapa, he's the second part of the group the riders have to push on because they're seeing it start to split out and uh, yeah, he just runs out onto the green paint and there is that bit of a kick off the curve there for him you can see there the the, the, uh, the level of the curve certainly uh, different to the level of the uh, the track and the asphalt uh, surface around the curve uh, i was saying earlier on steve when we were watching free practice in uh, superbikes we saw jonathan ray at one point come down off a curve and get all unsettled by it these curves do see that hamada stalks his way away from the incident this time we get to see it and it's uh, exactly as i suggested a bit of bumping and boring there in towards turn 10. yeah and it looks like he just might have gotten a, a bit of a punt from behind and uh, helped into that exit but uh, for hamada it's not going to make too much difference he knows he's down and out and uh, he's got three races left for this weekend those three races who's uh, got in front of uh, me and made a three tenths of a second advantage yeah you can see there Aditama there on the number three going down and uh, again like you said Alex another move into turn 10 it's easy to be a little bit ambitious on the run into there nice corner on the circuit Daniel Shereel looking for his first race victory since his return to the Asia Talent Cup he was last a winner in Thailand 2018 he's fighting for the lead here against Furasato the championship leader who goes so Roaring around the outside bravely, two turns to go, 16 and now 17, they come through the left-hander and it's Furusato who once again leads, it is Tayo Furusato of Japan to make it five wins out of five and the inaugural race victory of the Mandalika International Circuit goes to Tayo Furusato, the first time this season that he's been off pole position. That move to be that cool and calm after being stuffed down the inside through the through the fast corners in the middle of the lap. That really does show that he's able to keep a cool head and that's what you want to see in the Asian Talent Cup for these riders. This is one of the, the big talent pools that's available to the Grand Prix paddock and to the Superbike World Championship as well. And uh, certainly on their road to MotoGP, he's been able to show just how good he can be. Even if you think back to last year, he actually led both races in Qatar in, on the last lap but uh, got caught out he hasn't been caught out this year through that uh, leading pack in the early stages so he's going to feel that he's got a chance being able to close up and uh, really challenge tomorrow as well but certainly Daniel Shereel looks like from that pole position in particular that he's going to have a good chance being able to try and take the fight once again to Furusada it's got Mie taking the uh, third position in uh, race one. Just lacked a little bit of pace in the closing stages, dropped off on those uh, last two and a half laps and eventually finishes 1.4 seconds down. But he was able to take the fight to Furusato until, well, so the first 13, 14 laps, frankly, uh, on the uh, number five. And we saw him fighting his way through at one stage to uh, hit the front as well. Tried to unsettle Furusato, but he is uh, a cool head, is the, uh, the youngster, just 16 years of age, uh, your race winner. Second place going the way of uh, Daniel Shereel and your uh, race winner, the number 15 of uh, Tayo Furusato. Second place and the uh, trophy being given to Daniel Shereel. It's a uh, third second place in a row, so he's only lost 15 points over the uh, last three races. The majority of the deficit comes from the opening two of the season. And uh, Daniel Shereel, number 21, finished in seventh position and